Um, hi guys, I'm Jessica and you guys are watching Blue Ridge Bubble Works. Today I'm going to be making a another Christmas soap. I can't remember which number it is. I've been making some soap off or off camera so I can't remember which order this one is going to be in. I think it's the third one but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out in November. Anyways, today the soap I'm making is called Holly Jolly and this was actually a really big seller for me last year. We use Winter Garden by Nature's Garden and this is just like the soapiest soap smell. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It just smells so clean and soapy and it's actually my daughter's absolute favorite. She got the very last of them last year. We were down to about three left and I grabbed them off the shelf and put them in her stocking at Christmas and she was so excited. It's kind of cool to see a 14 year old girl be excited about soap, but it makes me happy. But Okay, so the colors I'm gonna be using, first of all, is the matte white pigment powder for oil from Crafter's Choice. That's my white of choice here recently. Um, and I'm, I'm making three batches at the same time and two of those batches are gonna be white, but one batch is gonna be split in two and there's gonna be a red and a green. And the red is a mixture of rose gold mica from Brambleberry. It's really kind of hard to read that because it's wearing off. And it's actually, I've got five parts rose gold mica and one part activated charcoal. I started out with three parts red or three parts rose gold and one part um charcoal and it was so dark <laughs> I was like oh no what am I gonna do so I just started adding more rose gold and so that's how it worked out and then the green is three parts savage garden come on there we go three parts savage garden and you know I gotta add the neon green so three parts savage garden one part neon green. Let's get this started. Okay, so normally I try to film my videos in the morning and all of these sun streaks across my desk here is why I try to do it in the morning because it is now, it's almost seven o'clock, is it? No, 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 it's six o'clock, sorry. It is six o'clock, but it's September for me, so I'm, <laughs> I'm burning up. I'm standing here in the sun and I am so hot right now, but I gotta get this soap made today. I wanted to make it this morning, it didn't happen, but sorry about all the weird lighting. All right, so since this entire, this entire bucket is going to be, or this entire batch is going to be white, I'm just gonna dump it right in the, right in here in the oils and get that mixed up first. <laughs> see well there's a couple little chunks in there oh let me try some more yeah that looks pretty good the nice thing about blending the colorant directly into the entire batch like this is that you can blend to your heart's content. You don't have to worry about it accelerating or anything because this is just oil right now. All right, so I'm gonna add my lye water and blend some more. Okay. Another thing, I'm a little worried that this is going to accelerate on me, so I'm going to mix it as little as possible, but um, it is, like I said, it's very hot in here. I'm burning up, but I'm also standing in the sun, so hopefully this doesn't accelerate. And here is the proper fragrance amount for this much soap. We'll get that blended, and then we'll pour it. All right, this is obviously not accelerating, which is absolutely lovely. And also it's good because I'm gonna pour this before I even mix the other two. Oh, that looks so creamy. Beautiful. 
beautiful. There we go. And we won't be coming back to this, so I'm going to scrape it all out. All right, as you can see, I've got my white colorant already blended in with my oils. Now I'm gonna add the lye water to this one and blend it, then add the lye water to this one and blend it. All right, this one is not at a trace yet, which actually this one isn't either. But I'm going to go ahead and split this one off into the two parts before blending anymore. Just roughly equal. Okay, so I said roughly equal because I actually do want more green than red because I'm going to use the leftover on top and I'm going to need more for the green than the red. So this one's going to be green and then this one's going to be red. All right, so let's add the fragrance. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna hand mix in the colorant first. And then I will, because I don't wanna to have to come back and use the stick blender on the white after I've already had it in the red or the green. So let's start with the colorant. I wanted a nice dark almost cranberry red. When I say almost cranberry, you know, I, I need holly. And this is, I want it to be a little bit more pigmented than that. It's a good color, but. All right, that looks really nice. Now for the green, make sure everything's scraped off the bottom. Oh, that is exactly the color I wanted. Exactly. I'm gonna go ahead and add this in there because if I don't put it in there, it's just gonna get thrown in the trash. So might as well use it. That looks lovely. All right, now to do the fragrance. Last year I did an in the plot, in the plot, in the pot swirl with the green and red and white. And you have to be careful when you're making soap and when you have red and white because sometimes it kind of looks like bacon. And last year I thought that. I thought, I was like, oh my goodness, I made bacon soap and not just that, but like there was green in it too. So it looked like moldy bacon. At least that's what I thought. Um, I mentioned this to a couple other people and they were like, oh no, that's not what I saw, but that is all I could see was moldy bacon. So instead of moldy bacon this year, we're gonna do a drop swirl. So we're gonna just plop that in there. Oh, this is kind of thick, but that's all right. It'll keep the colors together instead of looking stringy and bacony. Here, let me hold this up. I did want the colors to stay closer to the top, which is why I poured the white first and then come back with the second white because I don't want the colors down at the bottom. I want them all at the top. Oh my, let's give this a little stir. Sometimes if your soap is getting too thick, a little stir will help it. 
sometimes it makes it worse but I think this helped it a little bit it's gonna be a little floppy but that's okay I'll hold it up high Ooh, that's very floppy All right, give this a little tappa tappa. Oh my, I'm sweating so much in my gloves. Oops, I just tore it. There we go. All right, those are relatively flat and I wanna cover it all up as much as possible with the white, which I don't know if I left myself enough to do that, but we gonna try. All right, this one down here definitely needs some more. See, this is what I was afraid of. I was afraid that it was going to be getting too thick. Woo, y'all, that was intense. Uh, you guys missed a whole bunch because it just started accelerating on me suddenly. And I could barely get this white in there. But now I get to show you the fun part. I put the leftover green in a piping bag. And I also put the leftover red in a piping bag. And now I'm going to put leaves and berries on these soaps. I actually had made some leaves, um, I don't know, a little while ago. It was a week or two ago. But then I changed my mind on the color green that I wanted here. I'll show you. So these are the leaves that I made. But this is actually, well, this is, this is greener and the leaves that I made are more mint. So we'll see how far this goes. If I need to add, it, you know, if it's not full enough for me, then maybe I'll add some mint colored ones. But I think for the most part, we'll be good with this. All right, I'm going to move these a little bit out of the way so I don't accidentally put my arm in them because I'll do that. But anyways, all right, so let's get some leaves on here. All right, I think I'm just gonna do this much and then see how much I can get on all three of these. And like I said, maybe fill them in with the other color green.
we are going to add some Sparkle Plenty from Mad Micah's. And this does not lie, sparkle plenty. It is everywhere. So here is up close with Holly Jolly. This will be available on December 6th with the rest of the Happy Holidays collection. And um, we will be back for the cut.